Hey guys, welcome back to Tools and Tech, and today I'll be giving an overview of the Synology Disk Station, the DS220 Plus series. Uh, today we'll be going over an overview, we're going to set up some backup storage space, and if we have time, we'll be setting up a virtual machine on it as well. Let's get into it. Alright, for those of you who don't know, this is a NAS device, which meaning it is a network attached storage device. Basically, it's your own personal cloud server, which you can host your own files. You can do things such as own, host your own Plex server. You can uh, have some IP cameras connected to it. Uh, what I'll be doing with this purpose, I'll be having it as a backup uh, storage solution. I will be getting two four gig drives. I'll be running them in RAID 0, just to have a total amount of eight terabytes of space in the drive. I'll be using them to host my own backups of my movies, pictures, files, you name it. And also, I'll be uh, seeing if I can run some virtual machines on this as well. Just to go over some of the physical characteristics of the DS220 Plus here. Um, on the front here, we have the LED indicators, the status, the LAN, both of the disks. Uh, we do have a USB 3.0 slot on the front if you want to connect a portable hard drive for quick transfers. We have a quick copy button, I believe that is programmable to other features that you want to set it to. We do have a power button on the front here. If we do take off the front panel here, we have the two spots inside here. You just basically just push them, slide the tray out, put your two drives in, and away you go. Moving to the rear, we do have two LAN ports on the back here, another USB port. We have the power input there. And if you want, you can add a Kensington lock to the back of it as well. All right, and what comes in the box? I've already opened it. Uh, basically what it comes with here, came with the DS220 Plus unit. Uh, I have the quick installation guide. Inside here, you get two ethernet cables and also you get the power supply for the unit as well. Not too crazy, no media or anything like that. No CDs, no DVDs. Um, everything is through the DSM software, so we'll have to remote into it. Uh, we'll have to connect the NAS itself to the network first, then we can access the, uh, the settings page and the operating system itself. All right, so what I'm gonna be installing in the NAS, uh, we got two, ter two four terabyte drives here, both Western Digital. This is the WD Red Plus. Now these plus drives, they are using the CMR recording technology over the SMR recording technology. Typically when you're using a NAS product, you want to be using CMR recording technologies. I'll have a link in the description below displaying the two. Um, yep, so we have two of those. I did end up getting another stick of RAM for it. Um, this is just the 4 gigabyte Kingston RAM that I purchased for this device, uh, so it's compatible. The DS220 Plus has a max RAM capacity of 6 gigabytes. So there's 2 gigabytes already soldered onto the board, plus with the 4, then we have 6 gigabytes. Installation is pretty straightforward. The drives will go into the cradles here. Basically, there'll be a cover like this on both sides. Pop off both sides of the covers, pop them in, snap them in, and just slide them back in. For the RAM slot, it's just at the side here. Just pop them in there and you should be good to go. So I'm gonna get everything installed and I'm just gonna cut to the software after this. So when you have your Synology NAS set up and it's all running, uh, basically, I'm not gonna get too in depth with the setup process. But basically, you would just go to find.synology.com. They were the site there would just automatically find the Synology uh, device on your network. From there, you just go through a simple setup. You hit next, um, just name the device, sign up for a Synology account, and move on from there. Uh, once you do have everything set up and it downloads all the software, you'll be granted to the desktop right here. From here in the desktop, we can start doing all of our configurations, all our setups that we want. I've already set up some things in here and set some users up just for testing and also for just for my personal account on here as well. Um, let's just go over that. Uh, here we have the control panel of the unit. Um, so, so far, I just went into users and groups. I created an uh, account for myself. I do have my admin account here. 
Um, I did make one test account called family and another test account called friends. And I just had another one here under groups. I just have one group for family, one for friends. Um, under here, I specify different permissions on what they can access, what they cannot access. Um, obviously, you want the heads of two separate. If there is uh, some folders that you want one to access and the other not, you would just put them on their corresponding groups. Um, from there, we do have the shared folders that I have set up here. Um, one where I will have my family photos uh, under, one that if I have, have access to my friends, they can put stuff in there, just share it amongst everybody. Um, this is the homes folder, so say if I do make an account, and say for example the test family account, they would have a homes folder, and it would just be kind of like their personal directory that Windows makes, like you would have your my photos, my documents, everything. That would be the directory they would have. Also, I created my own file folder here, uh, just to have all my personal stuff under there as well. And that would be only specific to me, because I only gave myself permissions for that folder. Moving along, we have the package center here. Uh, this is where you would find all the different applications uh, provided by Synology, the different features you can install here. Uh, let's move down the list here, just show you a couple. File station we already have, that's just for the file sharing amongst everyone on the uh, Synology NAS there. Uh, we have things like Note Station, it's more like a kind of like your keep notes on Google. Uh, let's go down a little more. We have our PDF viewer that we can download. Um, this Synology NAS has a surveillance station. Basically, if you have any IP network cameras on your network, you can have the Synology NAS be the server for that and have the recordings, everything run under the Synology itself. Um, down a little more, we have our text editor. Uh, what else do we have here? We also have the Synology Office uh, application, which is much like your Google Docs. You can create, it, create and uh, edit your documents on the fly here. It'll be automatically saved to your own Synology cloud. Uh, another one I'll be showing you uh, an example of is the Synology Photos, much like your Google uh, Photos app. You can have your photos automatically uploaded to your own Synology NAS here. I'll be showing you also on the mobile phone as well how it interacts with the uh, Synology Photos as well. And also moving down, we have our Virtual Machine Manager. If you do want to install some VMs on the uh, on your NAS as well. All right, just going to go ahead and show you here the Synology Photos app. Um, it's just very much similar to the Google Photos app here. Um, basically, if we want to upload any of our uh, pictures or do an upload of any other uh, media, such as like videos or anything, just hit the top right corner there, hit upload. And we'll select one photo here, select this one here, hit the little circle, hit upload. Okay a second and now that photo is uh, uploaded up to the Synology NAS if you go to the file station app on the desktop there and pull up your home folder under the user account you have running um, from there you should be able to access all your photos from your device all right, and just to show you where the photos ended up downloading onto the uh, Synology NAS we just open our file station app here uh, just go under home there's our photos there's the photos library the photo was taken 2023 in the month of February and we have all of our photos here so there's the one that we uploaded and it pulls up right here on the NAS. Let's go over the Synology Drive app here which has the Synology Office built into it so basically let's open the app here. We open with a new tab and right here it looks just like Google Drive. You can get all the files that are shared with you and you can go ahead up here to create. You can open a new document, spreadsheet, slides. So let's try one a new document here. Let's uh, make a test file. We can go ahead and just say this is some um, text. And here you can change the name of the file. You can say test one. We'll hit OK. And we can go to file save. And once we close out of it, we have our file right here. We can edit it on the go, uh, make changes, uh, open it from wherever remote location you are and just keep working on it. 
very similar to the Google Docs application. All right, and there you have it, folks. This concludes the overview of the Synology Disk Station, the DS220+. Plus. If you are tired of paying for Google Drive subscriptions, this Synology NAS will be an excellent way to host your own storage and to have more control over your files. Let me know if you have any questions about the unit. If you're interested in any other features you want me to go over, please let me know. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe on this video, and thank you for watching. Have a nice day.